Right, here's a video. I've just come from there. Part of the motor at the gate and went to the big, round by the big pylon and then came opposite um, Cummage which is over there. There's Cummage coming into view now. There's Cummage there. Really no, I'm gonna go and try it. I might come to a dead end and then have to go back one that's around the other side over that way. Now over here is a different view of the barn, which is really a hangar, a barrage balloon shed. And from looking at it closely, it's actually glass and you can see right through it, so it'd be very, very light in there. There's big, big sheets of glass each side of the barrage balloon shed or hangar. I walked up close to it the other day but never really noticed till then that it was glass and not shiny tin on the roof. do a little bit of videoing. It won't be quite as windy I don't think down here. Um, I haven't bothered doing any videoing of the bit I'd done before though it was not very nice weather when I did it the first time. But um, it was it's so windy it's, it's really you'd have to turn the volume off. There's been a lot of work on um, flood defence you can see it in lots of different ways that I've noticed all the reens have been really, really tidied up and cleaned. The rinds, reens, whatever, ditches, whatever you want to call them, they're all very, very tidy. And um, they're all very, very uh, smooth. You know, no debris or anything like that in them. I'm exploring the beautiful Somerset countryside as usual. I don't know if this will come to a dead end where I'm going now. Hinkley Point over there, just point out our bearings. Far away from us at all. That's Hinkley Point. I've been out there. Quite a while ago now, about 92, 93, something like that. As a student nurse, we arranged a visit there when we met. We went in the medical facilities. They cooked us a lovely dinner. One of the nurses, it was um, her husband who arranged the food for us. He was the chef, the head chef out at the point. He's passed away now. I knew him from school days as well. I knew him. He was well for me, but I remember him well. And um, I've been over the reactor. I've actually stood over the reactor. We were taken up in the gallery. You could see where the rods were. There were Geiger counters in there. We were Geiger countered. We, we had to be sort of... Um, we had to be not searched exactly, but we had to be sort of inspected a bit. We went in and we also 
in this very scary lift. I remember that. It was very, very narrow. And quite a few of us had to get in it. I remember it was quite creepy. The whole place was creepy. It was like something out of a science fiction movie. You know, it was humming and it was all sciency out there. It was a... Uh, of course they did say if it really come to the crunch it's every man for himself that's what they said I said I've got no idea where I'm going now if this comes to an end or anything I don't know I really don't know what I'm doing is keeping my eye on that barn I've seen somebody walk down here the other day you see but there's not actually a sign saying you can walk down here Way. But this could actually be a dead end for me now. I said, I've seen a young chap come down here. Looked like he was doing a circular. I don't really know where I'm going. There's some. I might have to go back. I might have to just join up the horse before. I'll tell the truth, because look, this is kind of. Yeah, we just we just keep on this track, I think. That looks to be all bogland over there. I think we just follow this track round. Probably take us up to up to the. Uh, it's either that or we follow this one. What to do? I don't really know. I don't know which way he would have gone either. If he would have gone down there. that way. We'll go this way. We'll go this way. Yeah, so I've actually been inside Hinkley Point. They've got like a visitor centre. You just have to phone them up and make an appointment to go there. It's better if you go in a group though. They prefer groups I think. I'll take one person round. Of course, it's all in the news. You know, whether we're gonna, they're gonna, I think it probably will go ahead. I mean, you know, we've got to have some electric, haven't we? Yeah, that, see, there is um, a walkway through there, probably joins up with um, the White House Lane, I reckon, if I went that way. So I'm not really quite sure where this takes me, but I'm going, I'm exploring today, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter if I have to go back. Because I'm exploring this, this reen. I haven't seen the white egret this morning. end up in a boggy field. This could take me to a farmer's field where there's dogs and cows. I don't know. I've just gone round in a loop, basically. Yes, so this was the Paul at Hams, they call this. The wetlands. Place of uh, a nature reserve for birds. Flora and fauna, you know, newts, lizards, insects, and um, basically, what was I going to say? Yes, it was used in the war for keeping these barrage balloons in the hangars. There was probably, I think, there's more than one of those, apparently, and um, and they were kept inflated overnight. Saved them, to, probably took a while to blow them up, you see. They were filled with um, hydrogen and something else. Gas from the gas works at Western Supermare. And um, there was an experiment going on to see. They, they deliberately flew planes into the wires to see what would happen and how they could... Um, 
overcome the barrage balloon wires. Things like the Germans were also experimenting with the same thing, um, having wire cutters on the front of their airplanes, for example. I dug up about it when I found out it was a hangar. Like I said, I reckon there's probably a, a path that leads to that car there. There was more than one pathway. This might just take me to the farm, of course. I can see a car now, but that's... Uh, it's all exciting though, isn't it? And I'm out in the beautiful Somerset countryside, everyone. Paul at Hill's up there ahead of me. Apparently it's... Um, I haven't got the map with me. I think it's an ancient mound, that mound up there. Um, I can't remember all the details. All I know, there was a programme about the Vikings. It was a drama. And it showed Hubba. Hubba the Danish warrior. And he apparently was killed for real over near Cummidge near the crossing of the river and over there at Cannington for example on the hill there is where the, there was a big battle with the Vikings and the Anglo-Saxons King Arthur King Alfred I mean yeah there was a great big um, battle so this is this has got ancient history around here and apparently the Romans also used this land for crossing the river here evidence of a causeway. Anyway, there's the barn coming into view again. I'll just zoom in on it a minute. This will be an extra for the uh, YouTube people. And this famous Somerset Reens to help our drainage. They also hinder anyone attacking you with um, heavy equipment.